Hello, Green Greg here, and today I'm going to show you how to reboot your Solar Edge inverter. Now, sometimes the Solar Edge inverter will mess up because maybe there's a power surge or power outage, or it could have been in the middle of downloading an update or something like that, and it messes up. So, by the way, here's your Solar Edge inverter. These do come in different sizes. Some have a display, some don't have a display. Whatever the case may be, they all work the same. Okay, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to show you how to shut down the inverter and then reboot it. Okay, so every install is a slightly different, but I'm going to show you here with this particular one and tell you what to do in other cases. Okay, so first of all, you'll notice here it's flashing green and flashing blue. Flashing green means the system is not producing. The AC is connected, but it's not producing. The blue light, by the way, should be a solid blue. That means it's connected to the monitoring, solar edge monitoring, performance monitoring, okay? So it should be solid green, and the blue light comes on occasionally. doesn't always come up all the time, okay? So uh, you do, when you see this, you do want to try to reboot your inverter, or you might have to schedule a service call because it's not producing. So real quickly, so here is the solar edge lights, and we have a toggle switch. We also have a disconnect switch right here on the solar edge. And sometimes there are circuit breakers on the side of the house. You'd want to turn those off as well. I'll tell you in a step on that. And then lastly, we got a disconnect switch here. So we got several different pieces you want to try to shut off. So first of all, we want to shut off the solar edge inverter first. So back here, there's a toggle switch. Use this toggle switch has a red or black cap to it. And you'll see here, you need to turn it to the or push it to the right so it's off. And it'll take a moment, but these lights will go out. Okay. The lights will go out. Okay. Next, we got a disconnect switch. This is pointed up. You might see here it says on. If you can see that, you want to take that and turn it to off. So turn it to the left. You hear a nice click, and it'll say off inside this knob, and this knob is pointing towards off. So that's off the disconnect switch. If you have some circuit breakers on the side of your house that are labeled solar PV breakers and they usually have a red plaque on them, you'd turn those off at this step as well, okay? This house doesn't have them. I might have some breakers on the inside. If you have them inside your circuit panel, inside your garage, you could turn those off. They'll be labeled solar PV in red, okay? And then lastly, we got a disconnect switch over here. It's up is on. You want to switch it down, get a nice firm click, that's off. Okay, so let's leave all this stuff off for a couple minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll reverse the process and turn everything back on. Okay, one by one, just gradually. Okay, and by the way, it's best to try to do this when the sun is shining, by the way, so that way you know the solar system is on board and working. So if it's cloudy or it's raining out, yeah, it's probably not the best day to do this. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to reboot the system. So here's our disconnect switch. We're now going to turn this on. We're going to push this lever up. That's on. When you hear that firm click, it's up. It's on. Next, this is off. We want to turn it on. And then lastly, we want to take this little toggle switch here on the side. We want to take it, push it towards the left, and hold it there for a second or two, and then let it go. This system then is going to try to reboot. You see the lights will start coming on and start blinking. This may take about five minutes for the system to totally boot up, so be a bit patient. And you will hear a series of clicks. That's actually a good thing. If you see it, hear a series of clicks, that means the inverter is booting up and switching on and the relays are working. So don't panic if you hear clicks. That's actually a good thing. If you don't hear clicks, that's not a good thing. So just give it a minute. And you'll see here we still have red, green, and blue. So it takes us a little while. It'll take a little moment. So bear with us.
All right, now we got a blinking green and a blinking blue. This may, again, may take a while. It could take up to five minutes, so just be a bit patient. Okay, so it may take up to five minutes for this to turn to a solid green and solid blue, but just be patient. You might hear some clicks, and when it starts turning, when it turns solid green, then you know you're all good. Just be a bit patient with it, okay? Hope this was helpful, and please click subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on my next video. Here at Green Greg, I discuss everything solar, solar pool heaters, solar hot water, and whole home solar electric systems. And together we can save money and save the planet. Thank you so much. Have a great sunny Florida day.